Hello, this is Mr. Mobility once again. If you have an idea of how Chromecast with Google or Amazon Fire Stick works, then you already know how Apple TV works. Apple TV is a streaming media player. It's a compact device that connects your TV to a wide range of video streaming services, such as Disney+, Plus. HBO Max, Hulu, Netflix, Apple TV Plus, and so many others. Simply by connecting your Apple TV device to your television set, you are able to enter into a whole world of entertainment. As I have said, it works similar to the way that Chromecast with Google and Amazon Fire Stick works. Again, the difference is that Instead of you needing to sign into your Google account with Chromecast or sign into your Amazon account with Fire Stick, you need an Apple ID. You need an Apple account to use Apple TV. And you're connecting to a back end that is run by Apple services. So that's just the difference. The difference is who is providing the service. It's, it's like the difference between T-Mobile, AT&T, and Verizon. They all provide similar services, just different brands. So let me walk you through how to set up and connect your Apple TV to your television set. So first, Apple TV looks something like this. It's a very small box like this, right? And it comes with a cable that plugs into the HDMI port of your television set and then with a power cable that plugs into a power source. So connect your Apple TV to the HDMI port of your television set. It's usually at the back or at the side or below. Wherever your TV set has its ports laid out, you will find the HDMI port there. Connect your Apple TV to that. Now connect the, the power cable to a power source power on your Apple TV once you have done that. A set of instructions will appear on your TV screen showing you how to connect your home Wi-Fi internet because it requires an internet connection the same way Chromecast and Fire Stick do. Once you have connected your Apple TV to the Wi-Fi, you're ready to sign in with your Apple ID. Just sign in and then begin to install the apps you want to use. You want to watch Netflix? Install it. You want to watch YouTube? Install it. You want to watch HBO Max? Install it. Whatever video streaming app or service you want to use, install it. And if you are subscribed to any of those, you just start watching. If you are not su subscribed yet, subscribe. Some of them cost uh, $5 a month. I think Apple TV Plus costs about $8, $99 a month. Subscribe and begin to enjoy your video content. Now, what kind of quality should you expect from Apple TV? Oh, of course, you know that Apple is known for providing quality services. Apple TV supports 4K HDR, Dolby, Atmos. So, you know, you're getting pretty much the same quality you're used to from Chromecast with Google, if you've used that before, and from Amazon Fire Stick. So across all three of them, in terms of video quality, you have nothing to worry about. Also, you will be able to control your smart home appliances using Apple TV. Pretty much the same way you're able to control your smart home appliances with Chromecast and Fire Stick. Like I said, they all do the same thing. They are just different brands and different companies providing the service to you. That's pretty much all it takes to set up and use Apple TV on your television set. Plug, power on, connect, sign in, install, and watch. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to provide answers to help you. I'll see you in my next video.